Hi, I'm Ayo Tunde Balugo and here's your Channels TV Evening News Recap for March the 18th, 2020. The federal government has approved the reduction of the pump price of Premium Motor Spirit PMS from 145 Naira to 125 Naira. In a communique on Wednesday, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Mr. Timibri Silva, stated that the drop in crude oil prices has lowered the expected open market price of imported petrol below the official pump price of 145 Naira per litre. The Federal Ministry of Health has confirmed five new cases of coronavirus COVID-19 in Nigeria. This brings the total number of confirmed cases to eight. Addressing the press conference on Wednesday in Abuja, the Minister of Health, Dr. Osage Hanere, said that out of the five new cases, three arrived from the United States, while two came from the United Kingdom. Meanwhile, the federal government has issued a travel ban on 13 countries over the COVID-19 pandemic. The Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, made the announcement at a media briefing on Wednesday. The affected countries are the United States, the United Kingdom, China, Japan, Iran, Switzerland, Norway, Netherlands, France, South Korea, Germany, Italy and Spain. On the international scene, Facebook and Google are in talks with Washington over potentially using individuals' personal data to track and combat the coronavirus outbreak. According to Google spokesman Johnny Liu, the project will involve collecting location information from American smartphones and using it anonymously to map the spread of the disease and predict urgent medical needs, for example. And in sports, former Nigerian international John Mikel Obi has quit Turkish football club Trazam Sport. Obi's decision to leave follows earlier comments that he did not want to play as the new coronavirus spread worldwide. Confirming the move, the club said the contract has been ended by mutual agreement with the former Chelsea FC midfielder. And that's the evening news recap. And don't forget to join us tomorrow for morning news update. I am Ayotunde Balogun, and thank you for watching. Thank you.